before we pray, I want to read this scripture over you as a blessing. Ephesians chapter 3. I pray that out of His glorious riches, God may strengthen you with power through His Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your heart through faith. And I pray that you, mercy, being rooted and established in love, may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the full measure of all the fullness of God. So to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that is at work within us and at work within you, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord God, we pray your favor on mercy, your blessing, and your presence in her. We're thankful for the years that she has lived and the way that you have been with her to this point in time. And we pray that you would continue on past this point in time, that she might increase in wisdom and standing with all people, those that she ministers to herself those that she associates with, those that she lives with. Lord, we pray that your presence would flow through her, the presence of holy love, that it would burn and catch on fire all those in its way. We pray that you would bless this time that we have together this evening, that you would bring restoration, renewal, and refreshment, even revival. And we pray that you would bless this cake, that it would nourish our souls as your spirit does so much more. Come, Holy Spirit, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Pastor Mike and our first lady. Uh-huh. All right, so happy birthday. That's our husband. 